In this video I'm bringing you the ultimate guide to create stunning, ultra-realistic AI photos in minutes. We'll deep dive into the art of crafting mid-journey prompts using ChatGPT, explore describe command and multi-prompting on mid-journey. You will master everything related with mid-journey photography, including cameras, lenses, camera angles, shot types, lighting and unique visual styles inspired by renowned filmmakers and photographers. At the end of this video, I'll show you how you can get rid of blurry images and hyper-upscale your AI photos for Ultra HD images using Gigapixel AI or Pixelbin. Midjourney recently unveiled its new Describe function, which allows users to generate prompts based on existing images. Describe feature allows you to upload an image to Midjourney, and Midjourney reverse engineers to find its prompt. It describes the image in detail in four alternatives. By clicking on the one of the alternatives, you can generate a similar photos to the original photo. This feature opens up whole new possibilities of creativity. To try it, all you have to do is use slash Describe command on Midjourney Discord. Next, you can use ChatGPT to write great mid-journey prompts using this prompt. For example, I created this image on mid-journey by using cinematic description from ChatGPT. Alternatively, if you want to create a cinematic looking photos to improve dramatic effect, I can recommend using this ChatGPT prompt. Let's deep dive into multi-prompting on mid-journey. As you already heard, it's possible to blend multiple images together. Additional to that, you can also blend multiple prompts together using double colon signs. Let's give an example. In the first prompt, I described an underwater scene in great details. In the second prompt, I described my subject. Now all I have to do is blend these prompts to produce final image. Here is another example where I blended two prompts together. Note that you can describe the same scene without separating prompts. Then what's the hype about? Advantage of multi-prompting is you can improve your photography seen by assigning a weight number to individual prompts. Here is an example, see the outcome of original blended prompts. Now I will assign 3 weight to the prompt with the cat and notice how mid-journey prioritizes the cat in the photo. AI photography is a unique discipline that involves integrating professional cameras and lenses with various settings to enhance the quality and impact of results. Begin by identifying your requirements, such as camera angles, lighting, ambience, and stylistic elements, which greatly influence the final outcome. Choose the ideal professional camera, ranging from digital and analog to GoPros and drones, ensuring it aligns with your artistic vision. Remember, the choice of lens also has a profound influence on your photographs as different lenses are designed for different scenarios. To help you get started, a curated list of cameras and lenses can be found in the link in description. Camera angles and shot types are distinct but interconnected components of both photography and cinematography. They work synergistically to produce a desired visual impact and each plays a unique role in the composition and narrative of an image or scene. Camera angles pertain to the position of the camera in relation to the subject. Some well-known examples are high level, low angle, high angle, side angle, bird's eye view. Here you can see the main angles list. Shot types, on the other hand, define how a subject is portrayed in an image or scene. This is mainly determined by the camera's proximity to the subject. Some examples are close-up, extreme close-up, medium full shot, full body shot. I hope these shot types will be helpful for you. Proper lighting can accentuate the details, colors, and textures in the generated images, while inadequate lighting may yield a dull or unattractive output. Consider the following methods to manipulate lighting. Utilize weather conditions. Example, the weather can greatly influence the quality of light in your scene. Sunny, rainy, snowy, time of day. The position of the sun at different times of the day can also affect the lighting. Example, golden hour, midnight, combination of weather and time of day. A strategic combination of both factors can produce unique lighting effects. Different sources of light. Explore both natural and artificial light sources for diverse effects. Some examples are moonlight, LED light, candle light, directional lighting. This method can add depth and dimension to your images. Use color in directional light. Assigning a color to directional light can result in some truly spectacular effects. Hard and soft lighting. Understanding the difference between hard and soft lighting can help you create more dynamic and visually appealing images. If you are looking to add some style and atmosphere to your images, you can add a filmmaker's name to your prompt. If you start with a simple prompt like this one, you will get very varied and random results without much artistic consistency. On the other hand, if you want to add, for example, the name of Wes Anderson or Akira Kurosawa to the same prompt, the results will be completely different and your images will be tinged with the style of this filmmaker, such as the scenery, the camera shots, the lighting, colors and the general atmosphere. In the description of this video, you can find an amazing list of movie directors and their styles classified based on genre. 
If you're interested in infusing your photos with a unique flavor and setting a particular mode, consider incorporating a photographer's name into your prompt. Photographers possess the ability to immediately manipulate crucial visual aspects of a photo like lighting, composition and color grading. This often makes their work easily identifiable through these signature elements in a single image. Including their name in a prompt can considerably influence the images produced by Midjourney. Directing the mood and atmosphere of your AI photos is super easy by applying one or multiple colors to Midjourney compositions. Here are a few things you can do. General color palettes. Start by working with broad color palettes such as autumn, winter, cold, warm, vibrant, muted, tropical, gradient, dark or light colors. Number of colors. Explore using different numbers of colors in your composition to change its overall look and feel. For example, monochromatic for one main color, bichromatic for two and trichromatic for three main colors. You have full control over the outfit and apparel of your subject on mid-journey. To do this, include the following elements in your prompt. Style, layers, outfit. These factors help define the overall look of your subject. Example, Berlin street fashion. Luxury brands. Incorporate references to high-end fashion labels for a sophisticated style. Example, Gucci. Athletic brands, sport activities. For a sporty, casual look, include athletic brands in your prompt. Color palette or single color reference. Pairing a brand with a specific color palette or a single color reference will yield consistent results with random color assignments to clothing items. Materials. Specify the material of the clothing, such as leather, denim, wool, or even translucent fabrics. Patterns. Include pattern references in your prompt for more detailed and specific output. Occasional outfits are great to capture the mood of the moment. For example, wedding dress, engagement, graduation, events. One of the most popular questions people ask about Meet Journey is how to consistently age a character. Let me show you how you can do it. First let's create a character we like. Then insert your image as image prompt and add age parameter to your original prompt. Here is same character at the age of 20, 40 and 70. If your character looks too young at an older age, it's because your original image prompt is too strong. Adjust image weights by lowering the value of image prompt at the end of your prompt and voila. Another question I get very often is about skin defects in close-ups portrait shots. Sometimes mid-journey adds unwanted elements to our photos in the form of strange skin deformations. To prevent that, remove word macro from your prompt. Also, you can add skin of a baby cure to your prompt or try applying negative weights or no parameter and specify what you want to get rid of on the photo. Now, let's look into some strategies that you can implement to enhance diversity in your images. Take for instance, you want to depict a plus-sized model. It isn't a challenging task. You can effortlessly achieve this by simply incorporating the keyword plus size. This term is now widely recognized and respected, promoting body positivity and challenging conventional beauty standards. When it comes to portraying various ethnicities, a simple yet effective approach I've discovered is the use of country names or country flag emojis. This method proves to be useful in avoiding any potential offensive language that might inadvertently cause distress or harm. At mid-journey, we primarily use realistic photography. Yet, the vast world of art allows for experimenting with various themes and styles to convey your vision. For instance, hyperreal exaggerates realism for a more dramatic reality. Fantastic realism merges modern aesthetics with fantasy, creating lifelike photos of fantastical characters with certain camera and lens prompts. Other styles include retrowave, focusing on retro landscapes or vehicles, and nostalgia core that combines nostalgia and history with a colorful or grungy aesthetic. Vintage or antique offers an old-school, dusty ambience, typically featuring vehicles or items. Styles like cyberpunk and post-cyberpunk are known for their neon blue and purple designs, adding a futuristic touch to technology and urban settings. You can find these styles and more in the description below. Exploring various textures and material properties can enhance your artistic expression and create captivating visuals. Consider incorporating these example keywords in your prompts. Cracks noticeable lines or fissures. Dirty unwashed or stained elements. Icy frosty textures or features. Glossy polished, sleek surfaces. Reflective components mirroring their surroundings. If you aim to elevate your mid-journey images further, mid-journey upscale alone might not enough. To avoid blurriness and generate hyper-resolution Ultra HD images, you can utilize two distinct tools. Although I plan to deep dive into these tools in a future video, it's essential to briefly mention them now due to their significance in AI photography. The first tool, Gigapixel AI, designed by Topaz Labs, leverages artificial intelligence and machine learning to upscale images while preserving detail and clarity, thereby producing high-resolution images. Pixelbin is another AI tool that allows you to upscale your images in bulk. It also provides additional features such as background removal and cropping. 
It is particularly effective at enhancing the faces of subjects. If you want to learn more about Midjourney, I've created a comprehensive video discussing various Midjourney parameters such as quality, weights, blending images, using images as a reference, and creating consistent characters. You can find this video in the corner above. Also, I'm sharing this cheat sheet which will explain the basics and some of the new features that Midjourney v5 offers. You can always refer back to this if you ever feel lost or can't remember the right parameter. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more awesome content. If you want to learn more about art and content creation with AI tools and everything I related click here.